Charlton Heston, real name John Charles Carter, was a Hollywood legend. He appeared in over a hundred films and established a reputation as an actor and a political activist. Before his death, Heston was an old-school American who went on to become the president of the National Rifle Association. Welcome to the channel, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we'll look at the best 10 performances of Charleston Heston. Before you get started, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Number 10. The Agony and the Ecstasy, 1965. Carol Reed directs this picture, which is based on Irving Stone's novel of the same name. Michelangelo is played by Charlton Heston, and Pope Julius II is played by Rex Harrison. The film, appropriately, revolves around Michelangelo's feud with the Pope over the painting of the Sistine Chapel. The events take place against the backdrop of Julius' deteriorating health, and the Cambrai League's war. Michelangelo's artistic element is portrayed cleverly by Heston, who manages to capture the great man's pride and humility, as well as his intense devotion to his trade. On the big screen. Number 9. Will Penny, 1967. Tom Grease directed this western, which was based on an episode of Sam Peckinpah's television series The Westerner. Will Penny. The titular protagonist is played by Charlton Heston. The film follows Will as he battles loneliness and a vengeful family known as the Quince. The mentality of a nomadic life, as well as the stress that comes with it, is contrasted with the comforts of domesticity, and solitude is contrasted with Catherine and her son Horace's warmth of love and affection. Heston portrays a guy divided between his way of life and a desire to settle down, but in a self-defeating moment, he recognizes that it is too late to change and rides away from the woman and child in a melancholy position. Heston captures all of the emotions of a lonely cowboy writer well, channeling Will's misery, pain, and protective instincts. Number 8. Hamlet, 1996. Kenneth Branagh's 70mm, 4-hour rendition of Shakespeare's classic play about a sad bard, in which he also acts as writer, director, and star, is the most accurate adaptation yet. Some of the superstars who make cameo appearances include Jack Lemmon, Billy Crystal, and Robin Williams, but it's Heston's portrayal of the player King, a character truncated in lesser productions, the leader of a visiting theatrical company that puts on a show, that makes King Claudius, Derek Jacoby, squirm in his seat. Number 7, Soylent Green, 1973. In one of the best movie lines of all time, Heston screams, Soylent Green is people. It was ranked number 77 on the AFI's list of the top 100 quotes. Manhattan has become a dystopia in this adaptation of Harry Harrison's science fiction classic owing to overpopulation and greenhouse gas pollution. Heston is an NYPD detective who is investigating the assassination of a powerful CEO when he discovers a shocking secret about a government-issued food. Number 6. ELCID, 1961. Heston appears with heavy makeup for his part as legendary Spanish fighter Rodrigo Diaz, which is a little weird, that doesn't detract from Anthony Mann's engrossing and informative story, which follows El Cid as he fights the Moors while navigating family and political strife. El Cid, better known as Don Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, is played by Charlton Heston in this epic historical drama. He depicts the deeds of this knight in the 11th century, demonstrating how he was alone responsible for the unification of Spain. He co-stars with Sofia Loren, who is stunning, a film about a larger-than-life guy, and it needs a larger-than-life performer like Charlton Heston to capture the brilliance, which he achieves with ease and grace. Number 5, The Omega Man, 1971. Boris Segal directed this science fiction picture, which is based on the novel The Last Man on Earth. The plot follows Charlton Heston's character, Robert Neville, a U.S. Army colonel who injects himself with an experimental serum to avoid succumbing to China and Russia's biological warfare. The serum gives him immune to a sickness that wipes out most of humanity, and Neville must battle a mutant group of albinos while also dealing with personal issues. It was then recreated as Will Smith's I Am Legend, which had a gripping story. In the dying minutes of his character's life, Heston brilliantly expresses the hopelessness of the situation and the desire for a brighter future. Number 4. The Ten Commandments, 1956. 
Charlton Heston was known for playing larger-than-life characters, and who could be bigger than Moses, the man who spoke to God. Cecil DeMille directed this historical epic film, which stars Charlton Heston as Moses, who leads his people to freedom. Heston won a Golden Globe for his performance in this film, which was nominated for multiple Academy Awards. This picture is one of the pillars of Heston's illustrious career, and is considered one of the most important films to come out of Hollywood. It follows Moses from his discovery as an abandoned infant among the bulrushes through his endeavors to rescue the Jews from slavery in Egypt. Number 3, Planet of the Apes, 1968. This well-known science fiction film has since grown into a major series. But it was directed by Franklin J. Schaffner in the first place. George Taylor, played by Charlton Heston, is an astronaut who is in deep slumber when their spaceship crashes. The plot chronicles the exploits of a group of astronauts on a planet where apes have displaced humans as the dominant species. Heston has an outstanding performance in the film, which went on to become a cult classic. Heston portrays the fear of being on an alien planet brilliantly, and he maintains this strong performance all the way to the end of the film, when, in a moment of epiphany, he realizes that the alien planet is actually Earth post-nuclear war, and he condemns humanity in a single moment of agony perfectly captured by Heston's acting caliber. Number 2, Touch of Evil, 1958. Orson Welles, one of the geniuses of filmmaking, directed this neo-noir film. The picture, directed by him and starring him, also features Charlton Heston, Janet Leigh, and Marlene Dietrich, among others. The film stars Charlton Heston as Miguel Vargas, a Mexican drug enforcement official, and is widely regarded as a noir masterpiece and one of Welles' finest works. Vargas becomes involved in the inquiry after a Mexican car bomb explodes on U.S. grounds. During this time, he encounters two shady detectives who are known for planting evidence in order to secure convictions. The plot covers the bombing investigation and the lengths to which these cops will go to keep Vargas from revealing their identities. Wells' picture is properly named, since it depicts the darker and more sinister side of human nature, and Heston gives a magnificent performance as the virtuous agent crusading for justice. Number 1, Ben-Hur, 1959. This American epic historical drama, directed by William Wyler, is as long as it is spectacular. Judah Ben-Hur, played by Charlton Heston, was a man who fought against the Holy Roman Emperor to avenge his family. The picture that helped Heston become the renowned actor he is today took home a record 11 Oscars and three Golden Globes. The plot chronicles Ben-Hur's ascent to power and exploits all the way to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, and brilliantly constructed film. Heston brings this man to life in all the splendor that can only only be found on the big screen, making it by far his best work. Despite some lengthy, uncomfortable discussion passages, it soars when it abandons spectacle, especially in the famous chariot race. This concludes today's video. What are your thoughts on our list? Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates.